Metro Phoenix starting lineup. At small forward, number 12, Michaela Anyabrede. Hello and welcome to our coverage of the WNBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Las Vegas Aces against the Phoenix Mercury. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. As we head towards the 30th season of the WNBA, what stands out to you guys in terms of the state of the league? Uh, to me, it's just how great a position the league is in. We've got exciting young stars, and ratings, records being set every single year, and just the overall feeling around the W. I sense that too, that we're all building something, and this thing is continuing to improve. That's what's the most exciting thing for me. I think the best is yet to come. Now here's Young. Greiner with the rebound. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. And a shot goes in. If you get open, Jefferson will find you. Mariah, a pass first call. Wilson outside. Yes! Great play by Chelsea Gray to set it up. That's a great job, really, to, to angle her body, shield the bigger player from the ball on her way to the basket. And you have to know how to finish like that if you're going to take it down low and she showed all the capabilities of doing so. Now here's Onion Wade. One up, one Two down. Two points, points for the first shot in this game. Pure power from Onion Wade. Taking the bump inside and still scoring it. Wilson with the bucket. Wilson. Hard to stop, guys. She poses a ton of matchup problems for any opponent. And That's now on Gray. That is the first Gray. foul of the game. First personal foul, teams first. First team foul. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Pass to Griner. Down low, Turner. Soft touch off the glass. Good find by Griner. She's so much taller than everybody at 6'9". It allows her really to see the rest of the court. Wilson defended by Turner. And Asia Wilson again. By Good pass work. The assist was right on target. Knocked away and stolen by Gray. And now the Aces on the break. Good for the basket. Chelsea Starting Gray. off one for one with that shot. Don't you dare underestimate Gray's determination and athletic ability. A little contact does not bother her. Goodbye, How's that for a move? Her crossover is a thing of beauty. To the middle. Here's Wilson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from assist Kelsey from Plum. Kelsey and Wilson Plum. likes asserting her dominance inside, just brushing off the defense. And Kelsey Plum gets the whistle that time. That is her first, first foul, foul of the game. Teams first. Second team foul. Gray brings the double team. Pass to Griner. From about 10 feet out, Las Vegas grabs the miss. Back to Plum. And fouled hard that time. Two shots at the line. When it comes to WNBA accolades, Kelsey Plum has a knack for racking them up. The champion, all-star, sixth player of the year. In fact, in her first all-star game appearance, Kelsey Plum won all-star game MVP. Few players can say they've done the same. The first pick in the 2017 draft, Kelsey Plum struggled a bit as a rookie. Yeah, she was under 35% from the field. Plum had a rough start, but Kelsey didn't get discouraged. Worked on her game, worked on getting stronger, and Kelsey earning a spot as a first-team All-WNBA selection and winning a championship as well. Second shot opportunity, and it's blocked by Kia Stokes. And the Mercury call time here. Substitution on the court. Phoenix timeout. Here 
Here's Sutton. Nice D from Chelsea Gray. The defense was ready for her, got a hand in her face, and made that one much tougher. And that's something that every team needs, rugged Chelsea interior Flo. defense to just make your opponent think twice about coming down the lane. She always knows where her teammates are going to be, and she'll have that ball there waiting for them. Offensive board. Reiner shots good. What an instinctual nose for the ball. Reiner just cleans up the glass so efficiently. Left side, Young. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing her first attempt. No mistake on that one. Good work all around. The Mercury Trail. Two minutes remaining. And your second. Charity stripe shot, and she hits a jumper for two. Gray with it. To the paint. Here's Clark. Gustafson with the rebound. Here's Sutton. Gray defending. Now Sissoko. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Yeah, she tried to fight her way through traffic and just couldn't do it. Shoots from 12. Shots good Alicia by Clark. Clark. Well, for someone like Clark, who has shot over 50% from deep over an entire season. I mean, mid-range has got to feel like a layup. And Plum gets the whistle that time. Second That'll be her foul. second foul of the Fourth game. team foul. Substitution on the court. To the left side wing. Here's Sutton. Good. And the assist goes to Brittany Griner. Everybody on the floor is hot. It's incredible stuff here in the early going. Yeah, both teams playing downhill, but somebody's got to cool off eventually, right, Tim? I hope not. Pass to Jones. He nails this. Tied up. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Here's Bell. The three-pointer off the mark. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Aces foul. Kirsten Bell. First personal foul. Teams first. Fifth first team trip foul. to the free throw line for her in this one. At the line for Phoenix. Ashley Jones. And they now lead as the free throw drops for her. So both teams changing it up here. She's perfect from the line this time. Here's Colson to the inside. Shot's good by Clark. Clark. Transitioning into pretty much whatever role the team needs, it's Clark's ability to adapt that really impresses me. Poked away. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Inside. Here's Greiner. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Always easily above 50% shooting from the floor. Greiner is deadly inside. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession, so we'll have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. And so here's Phoenix. And here's Sutton. That shot off. A nice first That's quarter of play. Of We've quarter. seen this plenty of offense Phoenix. so far. Mercury out in front, up Aces. by two. We'll be 20. right back to the action when we return. start of the second quarter of play and what do you guys think about the mercury here in this one really good sign for them they've gotten a boost from their bench always nice to have firepower coming from the reserves and they've had firepower and then some so far the ace is trailing to the middle here's george off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt she was one step ahead of the d in making that pass nice assist 
drive by Mariah Jefferson. Turner. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First personal foul. One big rule change for the 2023 season. The introduction of the transition takes foul. I think it's a great move by the league. I agree, Blake. I mean, the transition take foul is when a team is in or starting a fast break. And an opposing player fouls without making an effort on the ball, basically fouling to prevent an open court situation. And while they do count as a common foul on the player, they result in a one free throw shot that any player on the floor can take, plus the ball back. It's really a big rule change, and I'm a fan. Stokes misses. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Tim? Yeah, everybody seems a little confused. I know we are. I have no idea why uh, she would foul in that situation. I mean, what was she doing? Hey, eyes up, Lunder. Don't give her Reiner inside, working on Wilson. Reiner, shots good. The assist by Mariah Jefferson. Now here's Plum. Stokes. She's guarded by Griner. And that one's good. Stokes. Jackie Coming Young. into the league as a great passer. Young has that radar on her, knowing where everyone is on the court. Las Vegas and they're one away from being in the penalty. They're going to have to be cautious from now on because the next one puts them on the line. Those free throws can really add up. Both teams will make substitutions. Now here's Jefferson. Quarter number two with just over a minute of play. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing her first attempt. Gray right side. Shoots over Petty. Gray, that's good. With a solid frame and terrific body control, Gray is comfortable operating down low. Pass to Young. And that one goes in as she's fouled. It'll be... Points if she can convert the free throw. And Jackie Young, the first pick in the 2019 draft, averaged just six points per game as a rookie. But she used that number as fuel and motivation, and Young earning an all-star game nod in 2022, plus winning a title with the Aces, a great example of investing in yourself. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Well, Brian, Chelsea Gray is the whole package and, and really a true point guard. Well, she's consistent with her scoring, and she can really move the ball around. One of the better shooters as far as percentage Chelsea in the WNBA. Gray. And Chelsea Gray is going to pick up the foul. Team foul. That's foul number two for her. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Onion Wade. Jacks up a three. Some of that award-winning defense from Wilson. He has such sharp defensive instincts. Oh, yes, she did. Five up, five down for her so far. That is some dime dropping. Exquisite assist. Right wing to the inside. Here's Gustafson. That's in. She's got two made now, and she's shooting two for three. That's a heads-up play there on offense. The pump fake cleared the way for the nice layup. That one dropped Chelsea for her. Gray. Just filthy moves from Gray. Time She's perfected her handle. Gray. Part of why she might just be the best point guard in the league. And the Mercury call time here. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played. Stolen by Chelsea Gray. That's her fourth basket Chelsea of this game, Gray. and she's only taken four shots. Off to a good start. You love to see a guard like Chelsea Gray take contact and still complete the play. That's toughness. Terrific work to get in the shooter's face and then uh, go straight to the boards for the rebound. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Kia and Stokes. she comes up with the deuce. Quality dish by Wilson. Good heads up basketball helps her find the open player. Now here's Tarasi. Gray defending. A shot by Tarasi. No good. The Aces with the lead. To the paint. Here's Young. 
good. And it's Jackie Chelsea Young. Gray who picks up the assist. And those points all start with Gray. The tremendous feed, the unselfishness of the All-Star. Yeah, that one put him over the limit. It's foul, so early foul. that if they're not careful, foul. this could turn into a parade at the free throw line. Well, it goes without saying, you've always got to keep track of Mariah Jefferson beyond the arc. Yeah, an absolute dead eye from distance. Among the best to ever do it. And the best part is, she's still getting better with age. What a loaded 2023 draft. I mean, do you guys have a favorite player from that class? Well, I'm going to go with the easy pick. Aliyah Boston, a winner in college, a defensively a national player of the year in college as well. And offensively, she's already fantastic, and she's growing her game even more. Yeah, I'm going with Boston, too. She's got the type of personality that lights up a room, and she's very well respected. Those are the kinds of qualities you want in a franchise player. Now here's Las Jefferson. Foul call. He has five. Asia and Wilson. we have an intentional foul Second there. Foul. Wish I could say Teams why. Yeah, yeah, that was a strange play. I'm not sure Phoenix what came Mercury. over her. I mean, Mariah if you ask me, Jefferson. it's just an odd time to foul. That free throw missing. Well, Jefferson doesn't get to the line all that often. And as a result, her free throw shooting has been up and down throughout her career. Good on the second free throw. Gray with it. She's got 10. Shoots from the corner. And the aces tack on two more. They've been playing very smart offensively in the first half. I think that's safe to say. The numbers support that. They're shooting much better percentage from the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now here's Jefferson. She has six. Now Sutton. Just five to shoot. And now we've got the intentional foul. I have no idea why she's fouling there. Maybe there's a little bad blood between those two. Maybe. I mean, that's the only explanation for it. And even then, it's not a very good one. That's also good. So she hits them both. Gray, outside Young, George, that's in, coming off an assist from Jackie Young. Nice pass, she got that ball right into her teammate's shooting pocket, and it yielded great results. Pass to Griner, and she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Just an incredible display of athleticism. Now, Griner's active on both ends of the floor, and her coaches appreciate that. The Mercury Trail. And here is Petty. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. But they get it back. And it's out of bounds. The Mercury able to retain possession here. Substitution for the Aces. Kirsten Bell. On defense, the Aces. Sutton, no good. Yeah, she's not necessarily a strong interior presence, but she's got to finish those chances when she has them. Young shot's good. Young. Her position might be guard and primarily point guard, but Young can score inside. She's six feet, tough, Aces and quite foul. crafty. Alicia and there's Clark. the foul. It'll first go on Clark. Foul. Teams first. That's her first foul of the game. We're in the bonus, the and, and they'll go to the line. Victory. She's gone two for Shoot. two at the line so far. And the first one drops. And good on the second, so she makes both. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. And it's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Oh. Pass to Griner. And out of bounds, the Aces will take it. The ball goes to Las Vegas.
they don't need to rush it. They can play for one shot. They should wait until about the five second mark before getting started. Absolutely. They get a hand on it. The shot was there for her. She had to take Most it. Biggest I don't care if she didn't Just convert. Better. She should take it again next power. time. Not the player you want to send to the line. She's an effective free throw shooter. Yeah, it's her first trip to the line. First free throw is good. What you like about Shea Petty, she's so consistent, and it makes her a valuable part of this rotation. So she gets them both. Now here's Plum. Here's Clark. Got it off in time, That's but it's no good. Court, the clock score. runs out, and we're heading to Phoenix half. Team. The Aces 40, on top, Las Vegas, up by seven. 47. Fans, please make a big round of applause for your new fifth squad. The second half just about to get going here. Chelsea Gray just dominant in this game. You know, she can get to the rim as well as anybody in this league. And in the first half, she got to the rim a lot. Yeah, and that's where her points were coming. So the defense just has to do a better job of challenging her at the rim. No easy buckets. Let's it go from 11. And it's rebounded by Jackie Young. The ace is leading. Pass to Wilson. Over Turner. Wilson no good. And guys, I heard that Asia Wilson got her first championship ring sized for her pinky finger. Now that is bravado. Say you're starting Wilson. on your pinky finger so you can foul. fill up the other first rings in foul. order. You just gotta love that level of raw ambition in a star player. Here's Onion Wade. Offline with a three. Now the Aces with it. They lead by seven. Here's Plum. Yes. Plum. Great play by Chelsea Gray to set it up. What a move there from Plum. She's not bashful when it comes to trying some slick ball handling plays. Pass to Turner. Jefferson. Finds herself wide open and thrills it. About one minute played here in the second half. Stokes, she's guarded by Griner. And that one's good. Stokes. A natural point guard. Young's a gifted passer. Has that sixth sense to set up teammates. And a foul on Gray. Chelsea. That's her fourth foul of the contest. Second team foul. Here's Jefferson. Eight points for her. Makes it off the glass. Jefferson is so crafty in the paint. Jefferson can outplay just about any interior opponent. And we're about one and a half minutes here into the second half. Young shot's good. Jackie Young. Well, she shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. You know, like we say, she's been making music all day long. And they pick up two. Capable of scoring in bunches. Reiner hits shots from various spots on the floor. Young shot's good. What a passing display she's putting on. She is spoiling us today. Just another incredible assist for the highlight reel. And the reel is getting quite long. Now here's Tarasi. Las Vegas covered closely. And Long gets the whistle that time. That is her third foul so far. Yeah, they're really struggling with fouls. It's still early. Just one more foul will put him over the limit. Past Onion Wade. Now Tarasi. She's guarded by Plum. Gustafson. It's good on the putback. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Everyone grab a plate. Second chance buckets. They can make a big difference. Down low. Here's Wilson. 
Yes. Asia. Great play by Chelsea Gray to set it up. Few players better than Wilson inside has a rare combo of touch and length plus the desire the Mercury. to beat you. Timeout called the Mercury. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside, and they want to talk to the team about tightening hey, things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final Las half of play. And Chelsea, Chelsea Gray is going to pick up the foul. Fifth personal foul. That's her fifth foul. Fourth team foul. And so here is Phoenix. Nine point game. Jefferson, Gray defending. Shoots from 14. Jefferson, no good. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Here's Stokes. Gustafsson with the rebound. To the paint, Jefferson. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a nifty five for seven. The quality trip down the floor, Onion Wede providing the assist to a very open teammate. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. Gustafsson gets the bucket. Beautiful dish down low. The assist by Mariah Jefferson. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Stokes. That falls. Nice speed that time from Jackie Young. Here's Jefferson. She's got 12. Rossi outside for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Smart. Find the player who scored the most points in WNBA history. And Tarasi waits no time for the Here's Wilson. Let's it go Wilson. from the baseline and nails it. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it did not work. Not if it results in that shot. Pass to Tarasi. The three ball. And the Mercury, another three. Well, he's the all-time leader in threes made in league history. You might not want to let Diana Taurasi get off shots from range. And the Aces call time here. Well, things change year to year in the WNBA, but you know what doesn't? Diana Taurasi's dominance. Her consistency, her longevity, it's just amazing. And her sharpness as a player has not diminished at all. Game after game, she's still knocking them down all game long. Gray with it. Ten points for her. Wilson. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Again, Wilson delivers such a talented score. She averaged over 20 per game her rookie season. To the middle. Stolen by Alicia Clark. And here's the fast break. Gray with the bucket. No matter who starts the break, She's usually the one who finishes it. And I love watching her just attack the rim at full speed like that. Now here's Jefferson. Defense is right there. And Clark pulls it down. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. A nice shot by Wilson. Her stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shots are falling for her. Pass to Petty. From deep. Kept alive by Phoenix. Another shot. And that one's good. Sissoko. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. Wilson outside. Good, and it's Wilson. Chelsea Gray who yes. picks up the assist. Chelsea You Gray. love for any trip down the floor to end with a shot like that. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Bell. Yep, that Just one goes. Bells. This is a nice third quarter surge they've got going on right now. Yeah, and it's a great time to get hot just as we get into the meat of the second half. Absolutely. Build some distance. Try to get things going. Gray outside. 
Four seconds left. Count the basket. So headstrong, Gray not phased at all by a foul, looking to get another at the line. And she'll be shooting her first free throw of the game. The Mercury making a switch here. Impressive growth from year one to now. Gray's numbers blossomed once she was able to really prove herself. She got oh, it! Count it, count it, count it! Just in time. The Phoenix team. Incredible buzzer Las beater Vegas, to drive this crowd 74. wild. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double digit ball game. Aces ahead, they're up by 11. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Well, she's always the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are her bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When she's running the show, she makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And we welcome you back as we get going into the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. And that one drops for us. And this game is really heated up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Yeah, well, no one's ever going to argue with more offense, and that's exactly Asia. what we're getting. I'm not going to argue with you, Brian. Let's see more offense. Well, they've built this lead through plays exactly like that. She's easily been the most consistent performer. No question about that. I mean, she's Alicia just hitting Clark. everything in sight. Had her defender spinning like a top on the crossover. I think you're right, Brian. She looks a little dizzy to me. Here's Sutton. The rebound by Asia Wilson. Jackie Young on the wing. Onion Wade covering. With the jumping ability, Brianna Turner can Alicia get up Clark. there to send shots away. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. Here's Sutton. She's guarded by Plum. Beyond the arc. And the three ball is good. They came out of halftime smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. They should all have the green light. And terrific defense at the rim got right in her path. And you know they'll be worrying about her Las next Vegas time they take ball. it inside, too. Jackie Young. And really, that's Second what great defenders will do First to you. Team foul. Yeah, the aces making a change here. On the court. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. She tries for three. Sutton, no good. Now here's Young. Onion Wade covering. Count that Jackie bucket. Young. An attentive player who sees the floor well. Clark really understands how to distribute the rock. Here's Sutton. Guarded by Young. Both loose. And now the Aces on the break. And that's going to be over and back. Wasn't watching for the line that time. Now Tarasi. Diana Tarasi is doubled. Pass to Turner. Reiner. Count that one as her seventh eighth in eight attempts. That's a scorching 86%. Well, oh, it's a good thing she showed up today because without her, they'd be in deeper trouble. Doesn't go that time. Excellent D there from Brittany Griner. A difficult situation for Phoenix. From downtown. Doesn't get it to drop for her. Clark with it. Griner's there. The Aces with another miss. Here's Onion Wade. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Trusting in her shot. Onion Wade ready to drain it as soon as she got the feed. To the inside. Knocks it loose. 
It's stolen by Turner. And a fast break now for the Mercury. Tarasi gets the bucket. But you've got to love this energy right now. They got high Las Vegas right when they out. absolutely had to. Yeah, and now their only goal is to stay hot. Not much time left to complete this comeback. They've got to get it done now. And the Aces call time here. Oh, they're pretty disappointed, this coaching staff, and rightfully so. Just they're, they're giving up a big run night now. Got to figure out a way to stop it. Yeah, they haven't really looked good at all here lately. Something's got to change for them. Let's see what the coaching staff has up their sleeve. The Mercury Trail. Past on you and wait it. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. The offensive rebound. Sutton with the bucket. Well, when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to do it and get back into this game. And it was their defense, just as much as their offense, that served as the catalyst and allowed them to put this run together. What a display. Two minutes remaining. Phoenix with the Two ball. Minutes. Timeout called. Timeout the called for Mercury. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, taking care of the basketball. Has to be the number one topic in the huddle, I'm sure. They need to tighten things up. Here's Sutton. Gray defending. Pass to Griner. And the layup's good off the glass. So calm, so workmanlike. Griner is never scared of going after the big hoops. Now Clark. Turner grabs the board. Well, got it in close, but credit the tight defense for forcing the miss. Defense like that ups the degree of difficulty on that shot by about what? Uh, I'd say 300%. 308%, maybe. Yeah, I like that. Kelsey that still paid instant dividends. Sure it did. They didn't waste any time getting out on the break. Just so quick. She gets Jackie that one. And this is how you finish through contact. Young showing some strength. And they're desperately trying to get back in this game. And with very little time to spare. Here's Reiner. Yes, for basket number nine. He's only two shots from the floor all night. Young, Onion Wade covering. Here's Stokes. It's rebounded by Phoenix. Oop, they pick the pass. Clark. And she banks in the layup. You'll have to do more than that to throw off Clark, a special shooter. Inside. Turner with the bucket. That pass led her so perfectly. She didn't even have to break stride. Gray for three. Reiner with the rebound. It's going to take something very special for them to, to come back now. Well, something special and a little bit of luck. And maybe uh, some three to ring down as well. Great idea getting it to Reiner in this huge spot. She's played in so many big games. Nothing startles her. Substitution on the court. And she commits Phoenix the foul. intentional foul. Mariah Jefferson, third personal foul. First team foul. Pass to Gray, down low. Here's Wilson. Yes! Wilson. Great play by Chelsea Assistant. Gray to set it Chelsea up. And they're getting that lead way up there by right now. It should be easy Time for them the rest of the way. Mercury. Yeah, and at this late stage of a game, a lead like that has a team feeling awfully good. And the other one bad. And the Mercury call time here. Here's Tarasi. They get it back. Reiner misses the baby hook. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. They've got to be happy with the, the effort, the result, the outcome. Great night. W is a W. Gray, no good. Tarasi outside. So the ace.
pieces win it. A narrow That's win under NBA. difficult circumstances as the visiting team. But that didn't seem to bother them one bit. Road team. Home team. Drive home safe All I know is at soon. the end of the day, they were the better team. And that'll wrap it up.